well good morning good afternoon or good evening whenever you're watching this video welcome to or welcome back to my e-bike adventures well sorry that's to uh, navigate people along the seafront here because uh, many people don't look and uh, or generally walk into the space that you can see in front of you right at the last minute so we have to be a bit careful yeah. right I think we got past most of those people right so well uh, this is still week two I'm supposed to be elevating my leg and not out on bike really um, so it's going to be a fairly short trip today um, still going to go along the canal I've got a barbecue with me we'll have a bite to eat and a bit of a chat but uh, yeah a little bit of a health update um, I need, basically I need to go back on Monday morning um, it's nothing what the, the GPs have said or the hospital um, saying that it's some kind of insect bite um, my foot essentially swelled up again last night and when I had a look I could see several veins protruding so it's definitely some kind of blood related in thing you're not going to indicate then no just fucking don't tell no one So, uh, need to be a little bit mindful about how much I'm pedaling. Because I'll be honest with you, I haven't come very far. And uh, already I can feel a little bit of pins and needles in my right leg. So you indicate car drivers because what is the point of having indicators on your car if you don't use them are you just adding to the problem of course you are you're not adding to the problem if you don't indicate you are the problem Really do need to stop pedaling in a second. Right. But anyway. I'm off out today I'm on my uh, different bike. I'm on the XF900. And 
this bike has got a cadence sensor so I thought to myself this would probably be a lot easier on my leg with the cadence sensor rather than the torque sensor also I do have the throttle as well for when I need it and I should really be using it now but uh, looking at my battery I think I'll uh, conserve it for the journey home but um, where I'm planning on heading to there's uh, there's benches along the canal so um, at least I can sit there I can have my barbecue I can keep my leg elevated as well which was uh, the instructions from my doctor so what am I doing out here now well life goes on doesn't it you know I still have to uh, pay my bills I still have to go food shopping and you can't just do that and elevate your legs all the time doctors are great at giving you advice you know but they can't tell you how to achieve these things and I'm sure we've all experienced that before with the GP tells you you must rest for two weeks and uh, you're not in a position to um, help you know no one's there to help you to go and do your shopping or you know do everything for you so unfortunately you can do as much as you can but you can never be fully committed so just resting up unless you've got you know dedicate family and friends to uh, that can be there every every corner so to speak <clears throat> and really it's unrealistic isn't it you know in this day and age I mean gone are the days where um, you know dad would go out to work and support family of five you'd be lucky if mum and dad both had to work these days and uh, either one or two jobs each to support their family at very different times and you can't just take a week off here and a week off there anyway it's a beautiful day I'm glad to get out in the fresh air I'll be honest it's been horrendous <laughs> the one time a year why couldn't this have happened in the winter you know when it's like it's yucky outside <laughs> <coughs> typical that you know it happens in the summer I'm told to put my feet up and all I keep seeing is a beautiful sunshine outside saying Glenn come come to us it's calling me all the time you know because I'll be honest this is where I feel free on my bike out in the country you know fresh air beautiful weather fantastic scenery what's not to love about that you know but never mind I'm out today and uh, I'm just hoping that you know this isn't going to set me back too much but um, yeah I do need to uh, essentially get an appointment on Monday go back to the doctors because there's no way this is an insect bite and I can't believe that they even suggested that and didn't even want to look at my leg or my foot oh crazy people definitely feels like the NHS is uh, falling apart at the seams
I'm not going to say thank you because they're supposed to have their dogs on the lead along here. I feel sorry for like people who just don't take no, you know, do they actually care about their pets? Because I'm sure if I had an accident and I hit one, it would all be my fault, wouldn't it? You know? Oh. And to be honest with you, I would be absolutely devastated if I did hit a dog. I'm not really a dog person myself. I'm a cat man. Skibbidi-bidi-bidi-doo-drop it up up. I'm a scat man. No. Oh. But uh, I love my cats. I've got a black panther at home. And uh, a tuxedo cat as well. They're both brothers. Unfortunately, they lost their other little brother last year, which was a real shame. But uh, I got them from a rescue center, essentially. All brothers. Thanks. <laughs> and it was funny because uh, I initially went there and thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to get a couple of cats. And uh, I arrived at the rescue centre and there was these three brothers all playing together. And you know what? I just thought, what's one extra mouth to feed once you've got two anyway? So, uh, yeah. I gave them a new home and uh, they've been with me now for oh, 12 years. heard that it's the uh, train <sighs> right well I've come along I'm at my bench so I'm gonna get set up and I'll catch you in a bit right well I've got my uh, disposable barbecue so let's get that out We get our lighter and we'll get this lit straight away if you can. Need a bit of a bigger flame. Do it sink. Right, so I've uh, got my barbecue on the go and uh, just for today's meal I brought out some uh, mango and coconut chicken, um, chicken breast mini fillets and I bought myself some wraps to go with that and also a bit of country sweet leaf salad essentially that I'll put in the wraps so nothing special you know just a nice 
just something nice to have out when you're outdoors and not having to rely on having a sandwich or you know or going to spend silly money at a cafeteria or you know but whatever suits i suppose but yeah we're just going to wait for our uh, coals to stop the flames and uh then we get our chicken on right so i think most of our flames have gone now so i'm going to stick some of our chicken on I've not tried this uh, this particular recipe out before, so this is all going to be new to me. All right, I'll just let that cook away. Right, I think it's time to uh, give this chicken a turnover. It's probably going to be stuck a little bit to the grill, which it has. Might have left it on there a little bit too long. Oh, because it's stuck to all the grill. There we go. Probably should have put a little bit of oil on the griddle itself, which would have helped mitigate some of that. Sticking so much. But it does look good. I just keep moving it, I think. And just promote that it doesn't keep sticking. Right, I'm pretty sure my uh, chicken's about ready to dish up, so I've got my nice wooden plate with me today. And as I said, I brought some wraps. And we'll open our packet. And we've got a nice bit of crunchy salad as well. Right, so I'm just gonna. Good afternoon. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right, so uh, I'm just gonna cut up some of my chicken. 
into more bite sized pieces. I'm pretty sure that's all cooked. Leave some of this chicken on there still. Some of these thicker bits. There we go. Lovely. All right. Get a wrap out. Bibbly bibbly bong, it's another rap song. That's really rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's why I was never a singer. <laughs> I don't write lyrics. Right, so. Let's get a few of these leaves in our wrap. Pop in some chicken. A lot of you will probably think, oh, this is so dry. But um, I'm not really one for sauces. So, we're going to eat it just like so. Let's make myself a second lap. Because <clears throat> I can imagine these are going to be quite filling. So um, let's move that chicken on there. And then the other bits of chicken, I think I'll eat without a wrap. But um, a chicken with a bit of salad will be nice. Right, let's just take off a little bit more chicken from our barbecue. Lovely. Let's pop a bit of crispy salad in there. And give it a roll. Do that up a little bit. Put that out of the way. And let's try this chicken wrap. Mmm, really nice. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that chicken is lovely. But yeah, it's a little, a little bit dry. But the green leaf salad definitely helps. But yeah, like I said, I'm really missing coming out. I'm just sitting indoors, looking outside all the time with my leg elevated. And uh, yeah, there's definitely something not right with my leg. And I do need to go back to the doctors. Well, let's take the rest of my chicken off. <clears throat> because I don't want it to burn. There we go. 
enjoy the rest of your day now. That looks excellent. You too, sir. <laughs> it's a great day for it. I was another fellow cyclist. Um, I don't know if you just heard. Um, there was a small amount of music. I don't know if it picked up a mic microphone, but it was something I wanted to talk to you about today, which was, we all like listening to music, but how do we do it on our bike and still remain safe? Well, what I will say is that I think people should get away from wearing headphones. Headphones are the worst kind of media to listen to your music. Now, a lot of people have closed cup headphones. And in this day and age, a lot of closed cup headphones have, and also, in earbuds as well. Most headphones nowadays come with noise cancelling, which means that there's a microphone on your ears, on the on the speakers themselves, um, and they're picking up the noise outside, and that's the noise that's being cancelled in your ear so if you've got a car coming up behind you or you've got a police siren or any you know ambulance fire brigade um anything you won't be able to hear or if you could hear it it will be heavily reduced and probably the chances are you're not going to hear it until it's right upon you so it's not a safe way at all Right, excuse me, I need to tuck into my second wrap here. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot. My bottle of Ribena. Also, aren't these great, these lids? Have you seen these before? First time I came across them, I thought the mechanism was broken. But actually, you unscrew it and just pull it back. And then you haven't lost the lid and it's not falling off. You're able to drink from that. without any problems and then literally you just pop in the lid back on whoever came up with this invention brilliant idea absolutely brilliant but anyway <clears throat> I digress somewhat excuse me and I've got a knife and fork here um, so as I said, we all like listening to music. And what I would advise anybody is stop wearing headphones. You have no idea, honestly. I've done it myself for years. And it's not the best way. Generally, when I wear headphones, though, I'm not out on the road. Um, I generally do it on a bike trail or somewhere where there's not going to be any vehicles. That's not so bad, um, but again, if you know someone needed to grab your attention and they shouted at you, <clears throat> you wouldn't hear it with these closed cup headphones. <clears throat> so what I do with my bike, I, I use a JBL to extreme. And at the moment, <clears throat> it's probably at a camera shop, but I will show you in a bit. I've got it bungee strapped to my bike 
so it's a speaker um, it works off Bluetooth and the music's on my phone which sits up on my handlebars and I can play the music through my speaker now I can hear my music that's coming from my speaker but also I can hear everything else around me which makes <clears throat> riding and listening to music so much safer so if you're listening to music and I'm sure we all love to listen to music I, I don't think I could go a day without having music in my life um, and I'm sure a lot of you are also like that you know let's just try and be safe and think about it yes they can be a bit bulky mine's a quite a large speaker um, you know but <clears throat> you can buy smaller speakers you can buy all sorts of Bluetooth speakers to go on your handlebars um, you know all, all various things and all I'd say is you know when you're approaching a pedestrianized area just turn it down a little you know just be mindful and respectful of the area you're in um, admittedly if you're zooming along at 15 20 miles an hour you can turn it up a little bit you know because the chances are by the time people hear your your music coming you've already gone they've looked up and you're probably level with them and by the time they've actually thought oh my my silence has been broken you're you're already gone and the music's fading into obscurity and people can no longer hear it so um, but just be mindful about you know don't poodle through pedestrianized areas with your music cranked up really loud i mean we all love to but i love loud music you know i've always had this saying if the music's too loud you're too old oh yeah i know i don't think i should i don't think i needed these wraps to be honest and maybe i could have maybe i should have brought a sauce with them because chicken can be a little bit dry but the salad is sort of helping with that anyway but my eyes are always too much bigger than my belly And quite often when I look at food, I think, yeah, that'd be enough. I'll be able to eat all that. And then in reality, I can't. Not anymore. I used to eat. I used to eat like a horse. But um, I think as you get older, your, your stomach shrinks a little bit. Now, luckily for me, where I am at the moment, there's a bin over there. So I'm able to get rid of all my rubbish in the bin, um, including the barbecue. But what I will do, we obviously we don't throw the barbecue into the bin when it's still hot. I've got my bottle of Ribena. And uh, once I've drunk this, I've got the canal 10 steps to my right is the canal so I can fill my bottle up with some water and then pour it over these hot coals make sure that it's all extinguished before you put it into a bin because essentially we don't want to catch fire to bins and uh, you know we're not out here to make a nuisance of ourselves So be mindful when you're disposing of your disposable barbecues. Please make sure that they're fully extinguished before you put them anywhere. And uh, what I would say is, even if you think it's distinguished, extinguished, distinguished, do you get distinguished <laughs> barbecues? Um, but yeah, even if you do think it's extinguished, make sure that those coals have come down in temperature because i have seen it where someone poured a bit of water on it loads of steam came up and actually what happened was the water evaporated so quick the coals were still hot 
and uh, they put it on top of a bin not this one over here but one actually a bit further along and they left it on there for about 15 minutes before going over there to put it in the actual bin and unfortunately like I said where they would used very little water um, the top of the bin over there is plastic and essentially it melted to the top of the bin and so it melted the top of the bin and then they struggled to remove the barbecue from the top of the bin because oh excuse me they became infused so yeah just be mindful that that is extinguished and cooled down before you put it anywhere near a bin because had that person gone off who knows what may have happened that whole bin may have caught fire and um, looking at the one over there that bin is right under a tree and with flames licking up then you've got a tree on fire very quickly and that tree over there is linked to every other tree around here so that fire would spread quite rapidly so just be safe make sure that it's extinguished fully mm. right I don't think I'm going to have any more. Wraps. Because I'm getting quite full. So. Got a bit of crunchy salad. And I'll have that just with my chicken. And actually, this is really quite nice. Mango and coconut. Which came from Asda in the UK. Not a recipe I've seen before. But yeah, nice. Adds a nice flavour to the chicken. And it made it all very quick and simple for me. As I've said with my health at the moment, I'm trying as much as I can to stay seated with my leg elevated. And I must admit, coming out today with all the best intentions in the world, um, where I'm sitting here, on the bench and I thought well at least I could have my leg elevated but the truth be known messing around with the camera cooking all sorts of things I barely have my leg elevated at all so fingers crossed this isn't gonna set me back in any way but yeah I'm just so missing the outdoors at the moment. It's only been a week and a half. And I'll be honest, it feels like it's been months. <laughs> This isn't the kind of video that I want to bring people. I want to bring a little bit more to the channel. You know, I'm, I'm missing going to the forest. Um, I'm missing doing the bushcraft, preparing all the wood, cooking, essentially thinking up my own recipes, making it all from scratch. <clears throat> Which is funny because I seem to spend more time researching and 
and looking for things that I can cook outside than I do when I'm at home. When I'm at home, I tend to find that I've got, oh, I don't know, let's just say 10 or 15 meals that seem to go round in a circle and just keep going round and round. And these 10 or 15 recipes have been going for the majority of my life, I, oh, pardon me, I would say. And, but when I come out, I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous and that's a really good thing, I think. But it's strange that at home when I've got all my creature comforts around me and, and uh, an environment where essentially it's a lot easier to be experimental, <laughs> I, I just keep going round and round in circles. But uh, yeah, it's just it's coming out into the wild and it just it gives you that well for me anyway it just gives me that sense of wanting to do something a little bit different and it be a little bit more adventurous maybe not today as i said this is all pre-bought stuff you know pre-made but i'm going to forgive myself for that because of being under doctor's orders essentially Right, I'm going to tuck into the rest of this, and I'll see you guys when I don't have to speak <clears throat> with my mouth full anymore. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. But yeah, just a quick look at my bike and my audio solution. As you can see, I've just got this bungee strapped around here, which keeps that on. And uh, if you know anything about the JBL Extremes, they produce quite a bit of bass. We've got a speaker here. There's an array of speakers along this side. Um, these things are also waterproof as well, so, you know, if you're riding out in the rain, absolutely beautiful. And there we go, the front speaker um, is there. But yeah, this is a Bluetooth speaker. Um, we've got our Bluetooth symbol there. And then, essentially, I have my phone in this bit here. And, and I can use that as my audio player essentially i can turn the music up and down from there um, and have full control while i'm riding my bike right well that's going to do it again for another week um i'm again my apologies for not bringing you um the kind of content i wanted to and probably you were hoping for as well um but hopefully this leg is going to get sorted as i said i'm going to go and see the doctor again on monday because um, there isn't something not right and uh, I feel it's my duty to uh, get this seen rather than the British NHS National Health System to actually give a um, <laughs> excuse my French or my implications of French but uh, yeah um, the NHS are not providing a very good service here in the UK as far as I'm feeling at the moment I feel somewhat abandoned and uh, yeah I think it's time for me to make those steps to make sure that I get seen anyway um, I could go on about my health for ages and I don't really want to I don't really like sort of discuss it um, but I will say a massive thank you 
to everyone um, who commented on my video last week. Um, all your well wishes were greatly received and uh, yeah, thank you very much. They are always appreciated as as well is you watching this video today. And again, I'm sorry again that, you know, it wasn't what I wanted to bring you, but here we are, you know, <clears throat> I can't shape the future and I can't shape the present too much. Um, and also I have to follow doctor's orders really. Anyway, so as I said, this about wraps it up. Um, I don't think I'm going to put the return journey on the way home. Um, because I'm literally just going to be using the throttle on the way home and not pedalling at Way the situation how you want. The loving that you claim is just a four-letter word.